So that's part one. The other part of this is people have asked, well, you know, people in the alphabet community, they're destined for hell. They can't repent. They, they, you know, they're just deceived, all of that. Well, here's the thing. Any lifestyle that is against the way God has called his people to live is a person who's in sin. People in the alphabet community, they're not just in sin. The Bible says that we were all darkness. That's Ephesians chapter five, verse eight, that says you were once darkness before you became a child of the light or children of the light, depending on what version you're reading. So for people to say, oh, you know, the people in the alphabet community, you know, they're going to hell. Well, no, you are going to hell. The reason why you can say that is because you want people to join you in hell. Why? Because you think that your lifestyle that may not have been that was wor was not as bad as those in the alphabet community. Here's the thing. We don't go to hell because of our sin. We go to hell because we reject Jesus Christ. And when I say we, meaning humans, right? We bo born in the image of God, because everyone who was made was made in the image of God and made through Jesus Christ. That is in John chapter one. And again, I'll post when I say again, I'll post the scriptures in the description area for this video, but every single person has an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ. How you receive the conviction of the Holy spirit, that you are a person who is living outside of the will of God for your life. And when I say outside of the will of God, some people will say, well, God, everybody's not going to heaven. Yes, you're right. Everybody's not going to be in the kingdom of God. Why? Because everyone who has an opportunity to hear the gospel and every single person has an opportunity to hear the gospel, may it be preached to them by someone who goes to preach to them in the natural or they can have a supernatural encounter with Jesus Christ. And then they say, no, 